<laughs> and welcome Never back, everybody. And there were plenty to complain about. Okay. <laughs> we got Rusty. We got Ted. These guys aged how much in the last four years doing this boat? Three lifetimes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. You, you got a dream, and then that dream hits you right in the face. <laughs> that, that, that's that's exactly right. It, um, it 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 was a challenge, you know. I've I've restored four of these, uh -huh. and this is by far the most challenging. And uh, couldn't have a better a better partner than Ted Harris in this endeavor. We saw the boat together. We both loved it. We both thought it was worth saving. Um, had we known what we were going to get into, the complexities and the costs of it, um, I doubt we would have done it again. But now that we're done, um, there are few regrets. Yeah. It is gorgeous, gorgeous. You guys did you. such a good job with it. What kind of shape was it in when you first took on this project? It, the external part looked pretty good. Uh -huh. um, it, underneath, it turns out, wasn't so good. But you know, part of why we bought it is that we could see it was really a piece of history and something that had a, a patina, mm -hmm. and it, it really looked it looked good. It didn't look quite as good as it looks now, but um, you know, the parts that we couldn't see were the problem. Right, right. Now, we've got this poster that you showed me. This is the original owner of the Stevens boat? Ted Bricks, who owned five Stevens. Okay. A Fresno businessman. Uh, Dick Stevens, who died at 100 last year. The marine architect, son of the founder of Stevens Brothers. He described him as a dilettante with great taste and a wallet to match. <laughs> Which is really what I'm looking for. You know, that's what I want people to call me. They call me. But you told me something incredible about this. He had, at one point, he had a pipe organ on here? A pipe organ. Actually, he had a plug-in organ on this boat. Oh, on, okay. on his fourth boat, he actually had a pipe organ built into the helm of the boat. So right next to the steering station was a, a pipe organ, and he could play the organ. He was a ham boat operator, and not just an operator, the boat was officially, it was one of two stations, ham boat stations, uh -huh. in the entire country. He was a pilot. Um, he was a, a pretty amazing guy. There are a lot of stories about him. We met many of his relatives who came back, who had uh, fond memories of the uh, the boat. They're kind of spread all over the country now. Mm, mm. But, but the boat was, it was, uh, he lived in Fresno. The Bricks Mansion is still there. Uh, the Bricks um, uh, building is there. Um, and... Uh, the boat was officially birthed in San Francisco at St. Francis Yacht Club. Now, you've got it fixed. You've, it's beautiful. Where are you guys going to take it? Where are you going to go? What's the big trip? What's the plan? What do you think? Uh, the, well, the first trip, we're taking it down to Southern California. So um, in seven, eight days, um, we've got a crew of six different guys, each different role we've got, um, as Rusty keeps going through, we have a captain, we have, um, you know, marine biologist, we have a um, wide range of mechanic on board, and we're going to try to make it all the way down to Orange County, go around Point Conception. It should be a real adventure. And then from there, I think the ultimate goal is to take it at least trips down to Cabo and then potentially all the way to Costa Rica. Oh, wow. If you guys need me for any of those trips I, I can make myself available i'm just saying i'm just throwing it up can we do good day from costa rica oh we can do costa rica good day anytime anytime all right stick around we're going to show you all the improvements they made in this and how they brought it back to its glory and i'm telling you you guys brought it back to its glory it is amazing once you step inside you just have this whole cool feeling you can feel the history and just it's just cool it's just cool, brother. It's just cool. All right, that's coming up. Back to you guys. All right, looking forward to that, Code. Hey, uh, if people would like to uh, uh, entertain your caravan, Code, what should they do? We're always looking for interesting characters. If you know somebody in a small town that everybody goes, oh, that's the mayor, but they're not really the mayor, that's the person we want to talk to. Oh, Good day at KMAXTV.com. Yeah, yeah. We'll send the caravan out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know send what I'm us saying? your de facto mayors. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Thanks, guys.